So how do you stay relevant in the workplace when you're over 50? Well, in this video, I'm going to offer my suggestions. And they're up next right here on Over 50 TV. <music> Welcome back to Over 50 TV. My name is Lou Reyes, and the title of this video is How to Stay Relevant in the Workplace When You're Over 50. And what prompted this video was a response I received to a video I did called Five in a Man Careers That Fit People Over 50. And the response I got was from a Michael Weaver. And uh, Michael said something I found very interesting because I know how applicable it is to a lot of you folks out there who watch Over 50 TV. So what I'll do is I'll read this to you, his, his uh, comments. As a former over 50, um, sorry, over 60 software developer, I will tell you it's not easy to stay employed after your mid 40s. It's got something to do with your desire and drive, but it mostly is due to your age or mostly due to age discrimination. I stayed very relevant, and I even went back to it a few years ago for a while. I got laid off with about 10% of the company, and a lot of those that took the hit were older. Statistically, I would say older workers were very disproportionately affected. So listen, Mike, I hear this quite a bit, and I can tell you that I always give pretty much the same answer when I hear this. There's three things that I'll tell people. Number one, I firmly believe while you're working at a company, you want to strive to be the best at what you do. You want to strive to be number one. You, you know, work harder, learn, stay on top of technology, whatever it, you need to do to be number one in the company. Strive to do that. If you're not able to be number one, you'll be number two or you'll be number three. But when you do that, you make it harder for the employer to let you go. So that's my first suggestion. And again, I tell this to everyone that I speak to, pretty much everyone. Number two, I believe you should always keep your toe in the water. And by that, obviously, what I mean is send out resumes to employers. Send out resumes to potential employers. You know, if anything, what you'll do is you'll get a response, maybe you'll get a job, or at the very least, what's going to happen, Mike, is you are going to, at least you're going to get a barometer. You're going to get an idea of what your skills or how important or how valued your skills are by other companies. If you are gobbled up right away and they want to hire you, then you know your value. If they don't do that, if you don't get a response, if you don't get hired, if you don't get an offer, then you know that you need to improve your skills. So keep your toe in the water. That's number two. Number three, another suggestion. I like this a lot. It's something that I've done myself over years, um, maybe because I'm an entrepreneur at heart, no doubt about that. But what I always suggest is this. Do a side hustle. While you're working for a company, develop a side hustle in something that you really like and enjoy and that you're good at. If you develop that, you'll generate revenue and you'll be able over time to build on that business. Maybe you'll build a client base, you'll develop or earn other revenue, and eventually possibly you could leave the job that you're at if that's something that you decide to do. Or maybe when you retire, you'll have that little nest egg or you'll have something that you can just go right into. So that, that'll help quite a bit. We know statistically, and there's some, uh, some stats out there that show that 26% of people who are over 50 are starting their own businesses. And that, to me, is a stat. I'm going to put it up on the screen. As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll, uh, what I'm going to do, too, is I'll put it on the screen. I'm going to also put a link to an article that will talk about that, that fact. But, Mike, those are three things I can suggest to you. Let me say one more thing, and this, is, this really struck me here on your, on your message here. And, and the message will be in, in the link and in the comment box for everyone to, to read. But something that you said at the end of your message just struck me. And here's what you said. Some of this is us older workers as tech moves fast and can pass you by, but a lot of it isn't. And there is not a lot you can do about age prejudice or a desire to work with one's own age group. And yeah, we certainly, uh, all of us, I think it's natural to want to work with people that we have some things in common with and that uh, unfortunately or fortunately is working with people our own age. But here's what you said at the end, Mike. You said, Forgive and try to move on. I don't know about you, but right when I read that and, and, I, and I read that Mike's message, his, his comment there, I thought right away, what a gentleman and what a guy that deserves only the best. So what I'm going to say, Mike, is this. They didn't 
and they don't deserve you. So that's all I got for you today, folks. Uh, I hope that you'll listen to some of the comments, the comments that I made, maybe uh, look at the suggestions and take those suggestions to heart. But that's what I recommend. Those three things are important things that I believe everyone should do, especially when we're over 50 and we're looking at um, working for a company and you just never know. You just never know if you could lose that job. So that's all I got. And I hope you have a great day, everybody. And please be careful out there. Yeah, 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 yeah.